Hey guys, I just want to show you a quick little mod that I did uh, to my dummy load. I just ended up heat sinking it because what happened was the original uh, one ohm resistor that came with uh, the dummy load uh, blew on me. So I ended up buying another one. And uh, when I mounted it, I was trying to, you know, set a current at a um, at like 1.7 amps and what happened was that the resistor kept on getting hot um, fairly quickly and you can see I have a little burn marks on it um, which I'm getting a replacement for this was before I actually heat synced it so what I did was I just I heat synced the driver I mean the dummy load underneath and I took the the one ohm resistor and I also heat synced that uh, with thermal adhesive um, to uh, the heat sink and then I just added a bigger heat sink but this is removable it's not just attached to this so uh, just a simple LM350 um, with a uh, 0.7 ohm uh, resistor right, this big chunky thing so there we go there's a should be around this um, resistors uh, value slightly vary so you might be off by 10 uh, milliamps but more or less um, this is what it has to be I think it's uh, 1775 it should be or, or something like that milliamps so just trying to show you guys how long it can actually uh, sustain being on because I know trying to set a driver you know let's say for example 1.5 amps uh, you only have really a few seconds to set the driver before it starts getting too hot to where you have to set it shut it off maybe 10 seconds max and then you have to let it sit for a minute so that takes you know time and it gets kind of annoying after a while so just by heat sinking the resistor and the and the six um, diodes that uh were on I mean a lot of you probably have the, uh, the DIY one um I bought this one I think from Moderex uh, a while back so it will work with DIY too so it's just uh, I think it's a little easier to heat sink these because they're flat so if you were to heat sink the, the DIY ones um it would be something like the resistor the way you would do it so I can let this video video run for 10 minutes but I'm not gonna bore you guys I think you get the point the big heat sink is ever so slightly warm right now and this is it's warm but not hot yet it does a, a really good job the, uh, keeping the dummy load uh, pretty cool so and sometimes you know unlike the flex drive or pot is really uh, sensitive so trying to set it sometimes 1.5 amps uh, takes a takes a few tries at least with uh, if you with this if you do this it, you can get it done in one shot would not uh, worrying about your dummy load overheating. I'll let it go for another minute. I just have a 12 volt uh, computer uh, power supply on the left hand side. You guys can't see that right now. The LM350 is heat sinked here and this is just a resistor. I chose to go with this to make it um, heat sink basically because the resistors do get hot. So basically, if you want more time to uh, work on setting your drivers up, 
heat sink your dummy load and uh, yeah, make make things a lot easier. It does not affect the the output. Um, I I made sure to check that before I actually heat sink if it actually uh, comes out to the the same um, milliamps or amperage uh, before and after heat sink. So it does not it does not uh, change the output. So that's what was one of the things that I was concerned about, but it doesn't change. So yeah, definitely give this a try. If you guys uh, set a lot of drivers up, or or just you know your driver keeps on, um, I mean your dummy load keeps on overheating after like ten seconds. So all right, I think you guys get the point. All right, thanks for watching.